Jeez. Apparently this is close to the sky. If I'm just one screen above my house, I'm getting the space music, so we actually are that fucking close to the sky biome, which is why we keep seeing harpies and wyverns at our fucking house, which is on the surface. Anyway, hello everybody! My name is Lefty, and welcome back to more Terraria. Last time we defeated all of the mechanical bosses, and we finally got the Optic Staff, which we, we are going to be using quite a bit, probably. Um, this episode, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'll figure something out. Uh, first, uh, why don't we make a mechanical minecart? Because we can. And then, I definitely want to make the pickaxe axe. And now we can just do that. And I thought there was one more thing I wanted to make. Where, where's the guide? Come on, guide. Do you exist? No, he's dead. He's fucking actually dead. So I'll just put all this stuff away. And we'll worry about it later. Sell our old tools. And, oh yeah, I, th <laughs> I was going to make teleporters off screen, but I don't know. Maybe we'll do that this time, or maybe I'll do it in between this and the ne oh, the crimson's back. <laughs> Gotta get the clentaminator. Yeah, as you can see, these guys are really fucking cool. I think it might be a good idea to just kind of dig down here so that we can contaminate more of the crimson. Because the contaminator doesn't really reach too far. I'd really prefer if you would stop assaulting me. This is sexual harassment, my good sir. Alright, eh, that's pretty good. And I'll just cover this hole back up. So, we need to get Chlorophyte. And we know there's definitely plenty of Chlorophyte that has grown. So I guess I'll do that. We could also do the Eternia Crystal stuff, but I think it's a good idea to kind of get some upgrades before we do that. I actually need to do some contamination on this side of the desert. And you need to, like, fuck right off. Go away. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> do you ever shut the fuck up? Come on, guys. Down here. God, the desert is just so annoying. It's really e easy for the crimson to spread through it. And we're dead! <laughs> but I will be back. Just you fuckers, wait. Uh, I need to reforge my optic staff, I forgot. Yeah, that's, that, I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> you know what a cool um, modifier would be? for, like, minion staffs is a stat that literally it just gives you an extra minion slot with that staff. So, like, say, for example, Mythical not only gave damage, speed, critical strike, mana cost, and knockback, but also plus one minion capacity. Could be cool, or it could be completely broken. <laughs> okay, now I'm in this cave that we actually explored very early in the game. In the place here. You can actually just get there from over here. Guys, can you, like, do something, maybe? <laughs> Let me use pirates instead. I think these guys might be better in these caves. Okay. Well... I think most of the desert here has been contaminated. But if it's not all of it, then it will come back. God, fuck. <laughs> it's like, why why are my minions just doing nothing? <laughs> hey, there's a chest. God! <laughs> oh, it's the magic mirror! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> 
We oh my frick. <laughs> After all these years, we got the magic mirror. Yeah, the pirate staff does much more damage than the optic staff. But what's nice about the optic staff is that they're good at attacking flying enemies. So we no longer need recall potions. Where the hell are my pirates? Guys! <laughs> Where the fuck? There's another chest. It's just a flare gun. Guys! Protect me! <laughs> Where are you? Okay, so there's Halo over here. I was here the whole time. I could have gotten this so much earlier in the game. The magic mirror. Alright, I think that's the entire desert. Contaminated. If it gets taken over by Hallow, like, that's fine. I prefer Hallow over Crimson, probably. Okay, now let's go get Chlorophyte. Yes, yes, God damn it. If you miss one block... God, it spreads back so fast, too. It just never ends. Listen, I am going to the jungle, and I am going to mine Chlorophyte. Fuck off. The Crimson can be over here. It's... That's fine. It, it's blocked by the hallow and it won't get to our house. Anyway. I was going... to use this episode to kind of vent a little bit. But now I'm, I'm kind of having second thoughts. Playing this game, it kind of like... It's almost therapeutic. It makes me forget... <laughs> about all the things that I want to complain about. Alright, we're gonna find Chlorophyte. There's some Chlorophyte. I probably should have taken some Spelunker potions. I really wish my pirates just weren't just, like, stuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's actually doing a pretty good job. Yeah, but so, like, on Loud Lads, we have this podcast called Baka, Baka, where we talk about anime. And we've recently been having trouble getting the second episode out. Because uh, the files are really large, and the, the recordings are very long, and Audacity is a little bitch that likes to crash all the time. And... So, Max and I have been trying to edit this shit. And I was doing that today. And I just got really sick of it. And I'm like, I just want to play Terraria. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing now. But, because the thing is... The thing about this podcast... Is that... I'm not the biggest fan of it. Like, usually, I love the stuff that we make uh, for Loud Lads, but just something about this podcast, it's just, it just doesn't feel me. Because, I mean, I've said this before, but I don't really necessarily have a lot of passion for anime. It's just something I do, or something I watch in my free time, because it's entertaining. So it's hard for me to, like, actually talk about it and, like, be serious a lot of, a lot of the time. But part of, part of why I can't talk about it is also just because I don't feel like I'm really that good at talking about the things that I like. And, like, ex putting my feelings into words. I mean, I guess that's what I'm doing right now, but I'm probably going to look back at this and be like, yeah, I could have said that better. <laughs> And so it's hard for me, when editing the podcast, to listen to myself, because I'm just like, what are you fucking talking about, you idiot? <laughs> I hate the, the feeling of, like, embarrassment that I get listening to myself talk about things as if I know what I'm talking about, when I absolutely do not. Even though I should. For some reason, it feels like my pirates keep despawning, and, and I just don't know how that keeps happening. Um, yeah, but we've also been talking about, um, bringing guests 
onto the podcast. So it's not just the three of us, me, Max, and Alfred. And so it's we don't always have to, like, have everyone together. It can be, like, you know, me plus Max, and instead of Alfred, a guest, or something like that. Or, like, Max plus Alfred plus guest, but without me. And, you know, normally I'm, like, I support my friends and their ideas and wanting to improve the things that we make and make it easier for us to make them more consistently. But, I don't know, for some reason I'm pretty against the idea of guests. For one thing, I really don't want there to be Loud Lads videos that don't contain both me and Max, because we're the originals, it's our channel. If it doesn't have both of us, it better be fucking important, or a good shit post. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch from pirates to eyeball people. Much better. <laughs> now they're actually fucking attacking. How much chlorophyte do we have? 136. I don't remember what exactly I needed these for, but I'm getting it. Oh yes, now that we've defeated mechanical bosses, we can get life fruit. We're gonna need 20 of those. The, um, the other thing about guests is that... I don't know if I've said this before, but like, I'm actually just very shy as a person. Um, I have a lot of, like, social anxiety. Hey, fuck off, mate. God, go away. <laughs> okay, time to heal. And so having a guest would uh, mean not only talking as if I know what I'm talking about when I actually don't, but in front of someone that is, like, actually there and I'm talking to that I don't really know very well. Hey guys, you want to attack the enemies, or do you want to just sit there and be useless? Asking for a friend. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's, it's less embarrassing when I know the people. I'm already good friends with them. And I mean, the, the person... The one person that Max mentioned as a, a guest for the podcast is someone I have met before but haven't really talked to that much. Especially not with, uh, voice. Is this- this is the edge of the world! Huh. And at the end of the world, you get a heart. Remember, the world loves you. <laughs> that is not true. There are a lot of people who probably are assholes, and will say that they hate you. And the Earth probably doesn't love us as a species, <laughs> for reasons that I'm sure you can gather for yourself. <laughs> anyway, it's a bag of money. It's too silver. <laughs> right, I'm supposed to be looking for chlorophyte. Not lighting up the world. Now, I don't want to chop the trees, I just want to mine <laughs> the chlorophyte. And I know most people are like, oh, you're, you're just embarrassed, just get over it, you'll get over it eventually. Which, like, yeah, but... Flower boots. Huh. Cool. What if I just, like, didn't have to go through the embarrassment? You know, like, be the change you want to see in the world. Well, the change I want is I want to not be embarrassed all the time. So I try to do a lot of things to just prevent it from happening in the first place. Sometimes unavoidable. Whoa. Plenty of mad men. And I'm sure some people are thinking, well, if you have such bad uh, social anxiety, how are you able to just, like, do these videos? And I think what it is is that What? Did I just get sniped? <laughs> oh 
you back. What it is is there's no like fear of people saying things to me in that moment. Because right now I'm I'm alone. There's no one listening to me as I'm recording this. Once it's on YouTube, then maybe some people will be watching the video. But by that point, I've had time to edit it and maybe cut out things that I thought were embarrassing. Even though I don't, I don't really cut out a lot of things that I say, to be honest. But I don't know. All right, we got 204 chlorophyte, which gave us 34 bars. Ah, right, the venom staff. That is something I definitely want to make. Because we no longer are using the spider, so we're not inflicting enemies with venom. But now we can. With this. It's got decent damage. Uh, let's reforge it. Who the heck is he? Ignorant. Weak. Agile. Deadly. Damaged. Forceful. Intense. Annoying. Lazy. Strong. Slow. Furious. Ignorant. Strong. Weak. Shoddy. Intense. Demonic. Yeah, alright. <laughs> what else can I make out of Chlorophyte? Don't want turtle armor. Probably not going to need Shroomite or Spectre bars. I don't really care about the drill containment unit. That's actually about everything. If I ever decide to use ranged weapons, I guess I'll make chlorified bullets and arrows, but probably not going to do that. Could make the rainbow rod. Actually, no, I can't. I don't have enough. I don't really need the rainbow rod. Yeah, alright. I guess all that's left for us to do now is to get 17 more life fruit, and then fight Plantera. I'm gonna go back and continue grinding for life fruit. Continue talking about my feelings. Maybe. Fucking wyvern. All day, every day. But yeah, I'm I'm a weird person. I kind of blame autism. It causes me to kind of think differently than most. So we're looking for life fruit, and we can actually see it on the map. See them on the map if I look closely enough. So that I, then I can just know where to go. I hate you so much. Stab it. Get some help. I suppose Life Fruit haven't really had too much time to spawn. I forget if it's after one mechanical boss or all mechanical bosses. I think it's one, so in that case they had plenty of time to spawn. At least a few days in game. I'm actually just not seeing any. It'd be nice to find a Plantera bulb also, which we can also see on the map. Slime is falling from the sky. Yeah, this is how I spawned King Slime uh, off screen between episode 18 and 19. It, it, this event just kind of happened, and I'm like, eh, I don't feel like showing this. It's not interesting. Um, but I guess. Now I'll be able to show it. I guess I could try making like a a kind of farm for these things, but I don't know. Maybe the best option is to just kind of flatten out as many areas as I can. Because like, right here for example, this is a slope, so it's absolutely not going to grow on this. So if I flatten it, then more life root could grow here. But uh, that... It's a little uh, tedious. So I'm not gonna stress about it too much. There's another star statue in there. Might as well pick that up. Mimic. Got something interesting for us? Or have I already gotten every item you can drop? Pretty sure I have. I don't think a life fruit can grow in water, either. Might as well open these chests. Why is there sand here? Is this... Oh. <laughs> We're directly beneath the ocean. God, what a strange world. I both love and hate it at the same time. I love how weird it is, but it's... It's not convenient at all. Like, a desert right next to my house? Come on. Oh, hey. I got a life fruit. 
and a boomstick. Imagine if every accessory worked, but just by being in your inventory. <laughs> that would be overpowered. Hey, another magic mirror. Where were you when I needed you? I never needed it per se, but it would have been nice to get earlier in playthrough. Oh, you know, one thing I, I could probably do is use that accessory that tells you if there are life crystals and chests and life fruit nearby. Man, so much I haven't explored. There's a moth! I don't think it really has anything that I'd want, but it's rare. So we gotta kill it. It gave us butterfly dust. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing it can give us. Um, I actually don't know what the next best wings are after leaf wings. Or I don't remember. <gasps> Why is the dry? Oh my god! <laughs> There was a, a naturally hooked up queen statue. I, I've never seen that before. Yeah, you know, instead of sitting around in the jungle waiting for life fruit to spawn, why don't we actually do something while we wait? Oh yeah, it's raining slimes. I was actually going to go do teleporters. Why don't, why don't we kill all the slimes first? Traveling merchant. Got, uh, sitting duck? Nope. Companion cube. You know what? I can afford it, why not? <laughs> what? What is this? Oh. Oh, it's actually, it's a, it's a pet. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I'll sack my bunny for now. But please don't take that out of context. We'll have this companion cube. Follow us around. Let's teleport. Hey! Interesting. Finally. Something interesting. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna mark my territory here. Just... How epic would it have been? I actually do need these. If, um... The teleportation potion brought us to... A chest with the magic mirror in it. Before we had the magic mirror. Is this the other one? Yeah, Alright. There's a life crystal. Um, yeah, I actually do want to make... The ninja gear. Slime has stopped falling from the sky. Okay, apparently we didn't kill enough slimes to spawn King Slime. I thought it, it just, it, like, never goes away until you defeat King Slime, but whatever. Let's do teleporters. Put the teleporter room right in here. The first one, I'm going to, uh, just go to the jungle. And then I'm gonna have one that goes to the, the dungeon. Luckily, this shouldn't take too, too long, because we have the, uh, the grand design. I am so happy they added this to the game, because back in the day, we didn't have this, and it was so fucking tedious. Making these teleporters. I'm not sure if there's still a, a limit to how far a wire can go. I guess we'll see. I also love the fact that the wires glow now. We're gonna make this go right into... The witch doctor's house. I guess I should test it, see if it works. Yep. I think we might run out of wire stuff. But that's fine, because we can just teleport back. I think we have just enough wires to get over here. Pretty good. Perfect. Uh, do you have anything new for me? No, that's not until we beat Plantera. Alright, so let's go to the dungeon. Hmm. I can actually just move while I click and drag here. It just does that. 
this a little bit faster. There we go. And I'm just gonna leave this teleporter outside of the dungeon. Why is there a mimic on the surface? Excuse me? <laughs> That's never happened before. Titan Glove. Then I'm gonna make a teleporter that goes over to the pirate ship that I built. But I think I'm gonna need more wire for this. Why are there so many? <laughs> I thought there was like a limit of three <laughs> hearts spawned by a heart statue. And there we go. Teleporters are all set up. So that'll save us a lot of time. And I think that's gonna do it for this video. Next time, I will probably have gotten a bunch of life fruit. And then we can fight Plantera. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.